hello. So, um, I'm going to warn anyone who watches this video at the start of this video that, um, as you can see if you watch any of my old videos and then watch this one, I have a new fancy microphone with a fancy stand and such, which isn't actually new. It's just that it's now at my house rather than at my friend's house. Um, we sort of shared own it. So, um, I will hopefully sound better and uh, you will hear less of my keyboard and such. But I have I've streamed a little bit in between then and now and um yeah I probably still haven't got this up, right? So it's very likely that um my mic will be way too loud or something. But I'm back. I'm gonna try and start streaming regularly again. Um I don't have uh, much work for a while. I have like a day or two in the next uh, month or so before I really start working again. So hopefully I can be quite regular. My sleep schedule's back on, back on standard. So uh, I have these mornings again where I was like, "What should I do in the morning?" Right. Uh, so um, this is what I decided to do, and I decided to go back. I, I, at near the end of my streaming, I'd got a bit like mm, some of these things aren't working. I think I was doing too much variety. The things people liked, you know, were a couple of the the main stuff. One of the ones I got the most good sort of response for is this old motherfucker. And because I did the webcam intro, this didn't load properly around me. I saw that out somehow. So, I'm back. Um... I, my plan uh, now is to um, spend more time on Vanilla WoW because people were enjoying that. I can turn some music on as well. Let's do this. I've turned the sound up because my sound will be louder, and I thought, yeah, let's have some, let's have some some, some sound from this game. Um, yeah. So I'm going back to doing this. I'm going to have to remember. How this character works slightly. Um, um, but this was definitely my most successful game when I streamed before, right? Um, um, people enjoyed this I had the most viewers when I was doing this I had the most people actually talk to me while I was playing this game um, okay there we go maybe 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 I went too loud with the music um, and so I decided that this was going to also I just wanted to play this game again and for the for a while now, I've wanted to play this game, and I've been like, no, let's let's not play this game because I don't want to make too much progress. Um, I don't want to make too much progress while uh, there is there is no one here. So I'm gonna put this back up on my YouTube channel. It's gonna start doing that again. I'm gonna try and start doing what I originally did, um, which is more have like moments up on the YouTube channel and then um, oh nice yeah try and have moments up on the YouTube channel and then have um, like more streams of just stuff you know um, by stuff I mean like bits between bits where there's less interesting stuff you know I mean this isn't this is the sort of stuff I'd normally just be streaming right but since I'm just starting back and I'm getting into it I thought I'll do at least you know an episode of you know killing wolves 
with the idea being that um my health's getting really low here i'm slightly scared um with the idea being um you know, it's it's the first in a while, so I should just start off by just putting a video out. And then I can do a bit more sort of random stuff. And I'm just, you know, I, I feel like it makes more sense to just give snippets, snippets of the journey um, as sort of proper YouTube video style content. And then I can go back to streaming with music on and stuff. And I think doing that before when I did it gave me a lot of opportunity to do things like do mining. I do a thing. I mean, I have some cooking on this, you know. Maybe I could go and sit and fish and listen to music and chat with people, and that could be that could be fun. But I don't know if that would be quite uh, quite as interesting in YouTube video format. You know what I mean? Like, so let's try and remember how this works. I remember I meant to do mostly shouts. All right, keep rend up, shout a lot. I really want to um want to uh there we go. I want to get some overpower things off. But I guess I'm just gonna have to do this, all right? There we go, I have overpower nice. I think so it would be useful if I wasn't using a mace. There's a spider over there that I want to try and sort of avoid. I don't know what professions I want to do on this guy. Um, you know, I have my um, my paladin for blacksmithing, so I don't need to do any blacksmithing. I have my druid is doing alchemy. He, I'm going to be playing. I'm not going to do a video series for him. Um, I'm probably gonna stop doing a video series for my orcs, but I'm probably gonna, like... Ooh, that was close. Um, I'm probably going to settle with, um... For the most part, um... Just doing this guy as the main sort of story thing because I think you know people don't need to see like too many different ones of them and I can stream the rest of them so and then um, I'm also going to do I'm going to keep doing a bit of variety but I'm going to try and sort of slow it down I'm going to keep it to the games I actually play like the problem I had with the way I was doing it before with my schedule was that um was that it meant that there were games that I wanted to play but I didn't want to play because I didn't want to stream at that point or you know whatever if I'm on TeamSpeak with some friends and everyone's awake and chatting then I don't want to you know necessarily record a video in that sort of in that sort of environment but I um Um, but yeah, but I still want to play some of these games, you know, and so I was like, okay, I need to, uh, need to start streaming. Also, my boy, my boy Son has been streaming, my, my new friend Excoundrel has been streaming, and so, um, I've been spending a lot more time around streams than I normally do, and, uh, it can be, it can be quite enjoyable when, uh, nothing, nothing's happening. I may have made a huge mistake. I'm actually gonna leave right now. I think I made a huge mistake. I started that fight with way too little health. I, I um, note for those who are watching this, um, <laughs> as I mentioned, I have not played this game in a long time. <laughs> and so I am going to make a lot of stupid things like that. I'm not used to having to check my health and stuff, you know. Um, I've even, I've been playing Diablo and stuff and So I am. Um, 
Mm. I will make many, many, many mistakes. Just gonna try and move my. I still. I wish there was a play while in background setting for this, so that whenever I go and click something on another screen, you don't get like all of the audio just drops and you're like oh well he's clicking on something somewhere else you know um yeah so for anyone who um who hasn't guessed by now uh i've on this character i believe i i, I ended off sort of last time as it were um just arriving on the shores of uh, dark shore and i, I really I've always been interested, um, I've always liked how this area progressed, right? I've got some game design to talk about now, this, this makes me happy. Uh, let's make sure chat's up in case anyone chats to me. Um, so, um, the point being, right, in modern WoW, and in how a lot of modern MMOs try to stage their sort of content, right? you go from quest hub to quest hub and um there's sort of two main ways of doing this you either have sort of the the way where quest hubs are like each tiny place you go or you have like the one major quest hub so like when we're playing in elwyn right you have the north shire quest hub where you're doing stuff around here then you have the gold shire quest hub where you're doing stuff all around here right and then you get sort of Eastville Logging Camp and this bridge is sort of a second dairy quest hub for stuff around here. And there's a mini quest hub there, right? And you sort of have these places around the, the, the map, right? And the thing I like about Vanilla WoW and a, a lot of older MMOs, which Modern WoW and some other MMOs, I think, sort of miss out on. One of the things that makes sort of it feel more like a world and all this and all these good things, the good phrases we like to throw about, is areas like Darkshore, right? Because that one I described, it's pretty simple, right? You sort of go from one side into the center, and then you go to either side to do a few more quests on each sort of side of the map. And, uh, I guess you have, you can sort of count the farms well, and you get quests all over the place, but there are mainly just a few quest ups when you get to westfall and you have this first sort of quest section here sort of the farm is one and then sentinel hill is like the main quest up you kind of have a few smaller quest ups until you get to the main one and i think this was the way they did it a lot in this game right and there's lots of small things like for example right i've been given a quest to go straight to darkshire right uh, or I've got a quest to go to Ravenhill and look around there as well, right? But I've got quests to go to these places, and I could go to Darkshire, and that's the main quest hub for this zone, right? But actually, the the sort of intro quest hub, where this stuff to do is there. And I don't know how you're meant to know this, right? It's one of those things. I'm I'm never sure how you're like, and I like I like that. I like the, the idea that you've got to explore. I might have got a quest. I can't remember honestly, which is sort of <laughs> upsetting. Um, but I might have got a quest, you know, which is like, uh, oh, you, uh, you, you need to look for these people who are, you know, out camping or whatever, doing their thing. But the fact that, ooh, oh, I want to talk about this as well. <laughs> the fact that um, this tiny area here is a, a is a quest zone, right? And it's nothing crazy. It's nothing big. It's nothing like major story, like yo the horde are attacking i've been watching um it's too far away. you know what, i'm gonna actually look this up so i can actually get you the name because this has brought me some enjoyment recently and so he deserves a little plug um even if it will be a very little plug um i think i retweeted some of this stuff let's try and half concentrate on this fight while also doing this um there's a couple of guys doing this now um, but the one the specific one that got me PC Gamer wrote an article about him 
his Twitter is Gromog. His Twitter is at Diary of Gromog. G R O M O G G. And basically, the idea, the way um, PC Gamer described it, which I think is is decently apt, is sort of attempting to sort of bring the fun back to the lower levels, the lower areas of World of Warcraft. Right? I need to go grab some food. I think because um, my first aid is literally non-existent. Um, I need to go and farm that at some point. Um, I'm going to put this on and I'll talk about it. Talk about it in a bit. Um, and so what he's done, what he's been doing, is he's started a new character in Retail World of Warcraft. And he's going through the starting quests, the early... Uh, you know, level, he's level 30 something now, I believe. And he's just going through and, you know, every time he finds something sort of kind of interesting, like, he's going through the quest and he's just taking screenshots and making like a little diary. He's just trying to take a nice screenshot every now and again and chat about it. Whenever he gets to sort of major plot points in the quest, he tries to mention it. I think I can just pop to one of these. Actually, no, I'm real close to Sentinel Hill. I'll just go there. Um, he, he just makes these posts, right? And so he's been doing them, sometimes he'll do them when doing other stuff, you know, crafting or whatever, and he'll just make some joke about it. He types them in all caps, he tries to sound like an orc doing them, it's pretty amusing. Um, but the point is, like, watching that, uh, and that has been quite amusing, watching that, um, you get, <laughs> you, I got sort of the realisation of how you look at Modern WoW and it's like, you are the only person who can save the world, right? One of the other ones who's doing it, there's a there's a guy doing a torrent version of it, and looking at his, it's like, it's like, uh, you know, he 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 made the joke like, oh, it just it seems like I'm, I'm always in the right place at the right time, you know, to have these sick events happen and whatever, and you know, uh, it's very much the sort of tr typical sort of AAA storytelling of like. You are the one person who can save us. Oh my god. The, the, you know, the stakes are so high. The stakes have never been this high, sick. Right? And it's just like, okay, calm down. I, I, I like the feel of this. That right now, stakes aren't that high for me, right? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a guy, right? I'm a, I'm a... I'm a dude for hire. I'm an adventurer trying to make a living in this in this wild world. And the way the economy works and money works and gear works and all this sort of stuff makes you feel like that, right? It doesn't feel like uh, you're a, a sick hero who's doing all these incredible things. It feels like you're, you know, a, a mercenary. And you're going around trying to do all these things, you know, explore the world. You could be like a mage who's trying to, you know, Explore the world to learn all about magecraft or whatever. All this sort of shite. And, like, I come here to this little tiny crop here. And it's not, oh, where, you know, there's demons about. And we've got to fight the demons to save Azeroth. And we're sort of the front line or whatever. It's like, yo. We're here, right, killing wolves. Right. To get some wolf meat. And stuff. Right. Uh, I mean, I think these guys are even like, they're just like, yo, we're just hunters, right? That's what we're doing. We're, we're hunting, killing wolves, right? Go k kill some wolves for us, right? We need their meat for people to eat, whatever. We need there not to be wolves around here because we're trying to do our job, whatever that is. Like, let's, let's have a quick read of this and see, right? Uh... Yeah, they're literally just like, yo, we're trying to do a job. These wolves are annoying, man. There's too many of them. Right? We want there to be less wolves. Can you do that for us? And you just go, yeah, I'll, I'll kill a full few wolves. They're just, you know. They're just like, like, that's how separate this is from the modern WoW, like, you are the hero. Is that literally this quest is, this task is is too menial and time consuming for us to do we have more important work so can you do this this little thing for us and we'll give you we'll pay you to do it instead of we having to do it right like that's 
this quest. And I think that's cool, because I'm like, yeah, fucking, that's, that's cool, that's interesting, I get to do some stuff. And it, it, it one, helps you remember, like, think that everything's more important than you, and you're just, like, sort of moving up. Whereas in Modern WoW, it's like, oh no, I am the be-all end -all, you know. I mean, fucking, my Druid in WoW now is, is like, the Arch Druid or whatever, or I guess a Arch, an Arch Druid. But I'm still, I'm just like, I'm so sick, right? I'm the head of the Silver Hand or whatever. It's like, well, why am I, like, <laughs> why am I this? I haven't played this game for a long time, guys. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I like the way you sort of have these little things. I also like, right? Look at my character, right? I ain't never had a ring before. I've only got shoulders because some very nice person gave me some cool shoulders, right? I don't think I found shoulders. If I'd found shoulders, I'd probably have cloth ones on right now, right? Because they'd be the only ones I've been lucky enough to find, right? I've got some standard gear in all the standard places. I've luckily got shoulders, and I get my first ring, right? And you look at those stats, and you're like, wow, that's absolutely fucking useless, right? But stuff like this existing, I think is super cool. Um, I don't need to kill rabbit wolves anymore. I need to kill starving wolves, but that one's got a spider near it. It's so frustrating. Is that, that's a rabbit. Okay, hopefully... I don't know how... Ooh, 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 I can I can aggro him. He's far enough away. Hopefully... Ah, hopefully, um... I'm not sure if it's like a east-west or a north-south thing, right? You know what I mean? So, um... It could be that, um... Starving wolves are this way, rabbit wolves are this way. If so, I'm heading the wrong way, and that will suck. Um, but what it hopefully it means is that um, starving wolves are close to the shore, like on the light green grass, and rabbit wolves are on the darker green grass. Hopefully, it's that way, so I could just keep keep to this shoreline. I also I remember that um, I'm starting to remember more and more each time I play this that um, back in the day like keeping your rage high as warriors was was like tricky right? that, that was hard right you know what I mean like you know, being strong enough to hit something hit something else hit something else hit something else and just keep moving along oh no fuck was actually like seriously difficult like I am I probably should farm up a bit more before I come here but I mean screw that right I'm a, I'm a brave mother effer um, this is part of the idea of spreading it out more though um, as well I think it fits well more I forgot like how grindy from the little one was honestly and uh, the idea of sort of doing every, almost every point as a video ends up sort of sucking when I'm like, I need to f just farm up a couple of levels, right? Like, so I'm like, I'm just going to go up to Lockmore Down and do some quests, you know? Um, there's the wolf that killed me. There's my body. I'm going to go down this way and try and just do, uh, avoid him because I don't even need to kill that wolf. I don't want battle switch. <gasps> oh shit! Yeah, that was why I felt like it was weird. I was I was playing prop back in the day, even though I've built arms. Yeah, shield block and revenge and stuff. I was thinking about shield block and like, why don't I have that? Where is that? All right, let's slam on a wall bandage. <laughs> it's incredible how useless these bandages feel. Um, and when I use these, and I'm like, fuck, they're not they're not very good. That's when I sort of. Uh, get to remembering why why I why I didn't use them that much you know <laughs> I always like would just be like Ugh, this bandage stuff is so useless and now I remember why that was I dodged it what yeah I mean if you're watching through this s series um, you've seen this very recently but I love the way uh Prop Warriors works in, in in old Warcraft. Like the way that it's so 
different to other warriors and it's all about getting your blocks up and all this sort of stuff like like the way this works I feel like I would actually care more about getting block like in well now if I get like a defensive stat like block or dodge or something I don't know if those things are still online they change it so often now I'm not sure uh, I'm always just like okay that's and defensive stance they're as good as each other I'm just gonna stack whatever one I get on my items or there's one that's better because statistically it, you know it's more effective HP and so I'm like okay I'll get that one then I guess whereas in this it's like okay I understand the sort of meaning because if I get block right if I get block I know that I will get more revenges so it won't just up my defense it will up my damage as well I love it I love it six block I don't know what that means I will have to find out at some point more starving wolves this is actually this wolf quest has actually gone a lot quicker than I thought it would to be honest I, I honestly was like I'm gonna have to spend the whole video killing wolves and then at the end of the, the video I'm gonna have to just be like hey yeah I'm I'm gonna keep killing wolves now like if you're watching me live you can see it on stream if not yeah, <laughs> get some thunder on there I mean, but I think I think that's the way it is. First priority. Oh yeah, level twenty. Ooh. Uh, first priority is shouts up, rends up, right? God, I need to look back at these and remember what I wanted to do. Um, first priority: shouts up, rends up. Second priority is revenge. Whenever I block. Next priority is just hit him with the thunder armor. And then if I can't do any of those, then I perhaps hit a shield block to get another revenge up. There we go, this is going much better now. I need, I need a couple more, more starving wolves. It's too far away. Then I need to go get Stormwind Seasoning Herbs. I assume I buy them in Stormwind. What's that quest called? Seasoned Wolf Kebabs. Oh, that is part of this, okay. Why is that hard? Seasoned wolf batter, how favorite? Sure, I can make you some. But first, I need samples. Bring me to as well as someone's seasoning herbs. There are many wolves here in the forest. I'm sure the flanks will be no problem. Find the herbs, seek out Felicia Gump in her canal district. Flower shop and stormwind. Okay. I, do you know what? I think this is one of the things where World of Warcraft was kind of user unfriendly in a bad way. Is stuff like that like that quest is red difficult right that should mean like you can do this if you're in a group maybe but it's gonna be real hard or something like this is gonna be you should probably avoid this quest right basically how I remember this things being is yellow is oh go do 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 oranges you can do if you're desperate but I wouldn't and then red is like no don't do you're not you're not you're not strong enough to do that yet, right but this one I think because it was a quest that I got in Darkshore, it's sort of, it's it's gone like, it's dangerous to get to here, therefore if you get a quest from here, like, you're not a high enough level that we think you should be in Darkshire, and so it's dangerous. Even though I can go to Darkshire, get this quest, and then leave, and, you know, go the safe way, right, or even go through the path that isn't too dangerous, and then just go and kill woods in the safe area. Right, like this is not this area is not dangerous at all, and I should probably head back because I'm gonna have to kill extra walls otherwise. Let's be efficient, you know. But it still puts it as red because it's like, yo, you shouldn't have got this quest yet. Therefore, dangerous. 
I should do it. That's, that is a thing in this game, though. Uh, which in one way makes me a bit more chill about playing it, but in one way sort of does kill my soul a bit, is that from pl the bit I've been playing it, like, efficiency is far less important in this game than just doing more of it, right? I've always, as a, as a kid, I was too impatient and I railed against my dad's ideas that, like, no, you might as well kill all of them because, you know, you're going to get more XP that way anyway. Like, each one you don't kill is XP that you've left there, right? And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, that's boring. I can't be sitting here killing all these little balls, right? And I've sort of <laughs> felt good throughout my life that a lot of the times, like, when I've learned how to play games properly, it's not about killing every single little one. It's about efficiency, right? In, in Path of Exile and Diablo, you don't kill every white minion. You kill the, the blue and yellows because they give you more experience for less time input. It's more efficient, and then you only kill the yellows if you can kill them in the smallest time input possible, so that the time and XP balances out. Oof. Oof. But in this, if you efficiently do all of the quests, you just don't have enough experience. <laughs> like, if I efficiently do every quest in Westfall, which I think is basically what I did, maybe not super efficiently, but you know, it's sort of generally what I did, you come here you know, I was level 18 and I was like, okay, I I definitely need to hit at least level 19. I know that. All right. <laughs> I came over here and these wolves are 19, 20, 21, and that's the first quest. So I was like, okay. Uh, I think I got near to 20 because I was like, I want to be 20 before I come here, but I'll happily stick at 19 if I'm close enough, you know. So that isn't super useful because I'm not going to be using it, right? Because I'm probably going to stick in protection most of the time. Alright, so I feel like I should be putting some stuff into here as well, but I'm just going to keep going in arms for now, because... I think it might actually be useful. That's probably actually really useful. Probably gonna get one, two, three. I don't want overpowered though because I don't know this. I'll probably one, two, three, and then put another two in there or something. Oh no, I was doing a lot of stance changing stuff, wasn't I? Oh god, I'm gonna have to relearn all of that stuff. All right, so I can complete this quest now. That's cool. And then I'm level twenty, so I can now get this quest. Go to Sven's farm and find what is buried behind the old stuff. Okay, so one of these is Sven's farm, isn't it? I think. Or maybe that one. I don't know. That's going to be red, right? I remember Sven's Revenge. I remember Sven's Revenge being a quest that I always got and didn't, like, complete for ages because I was just like, holy shit, man. Like, I love stuff like this as well because little stuff like this, like, you know, like, there's probably a quest somewhere for some class that comes here and has to use Anki. I think this isn't this the, the island where the Paladin quest is here. Like, you have to come here and resurrect someone or something. For the level 10 Paladin quest or something. I feel like that's what it is. Where does my hearth go? My hearth goes to Darkshire. I could hearth to Darkshire, then fly to Stormwind, then fly back to Darkshire. But I feel like it makes more sense to kind of just... Just around Stormwind, you know. So, um, yeah. Um, I think there was more I wanted to say on this, but I can't remember how much I said. So I'm just gonna leave this as stuff like this is cool. Like, it's it's a bad item, but like the idea of having more specialized gear. Like, I love the idea of having a game where you can get a high level and you have gear that. Like, gear isn't so one-dimensional in the way that I could go, well, if I'm going to go to do Anixia, that's really hard. Lots of fire. I'm going to need some fire resist, right? So I'm going to swap out my rings. Even if it's just swapping out rings and jewellery and a couple of pieces here and there, you know, being able to swap out some parts of my gear for parts that had, you know... Like, if rings were only specialist stats and were never, like, hard stats, I think that would be really cool. But anyway, um... 
thank you to anyone who watches this. Uh, I've had a couple of people live, but you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting back into this. If I start streaming every day, I'll start getting people again. Um, and I'm probably going to keep streaming for a while. Um, if you want to watch this live, uh, <sighs> twitch.tv slash moody for the win. Um, I'm going to try and be streaming much more regularly again. Um, obviously hit me up with subscribe here and the follow there if you want to um, know when I'm streaming. Um, and uh, feel free to come and chat in my chat. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be doing a lot more of this. I'm going to do some more Elder Scrolls Online because I actually found that surprisingly fun. Um, so I want to start doing those series again. I want to do some some Guild Wars. I want to start playing Guild Wars 2 again. And I thought that's a perfect opportunity to stream some. Um, probably won't do any videos on that. Because I don't really... I mean, I might do. And I want to start doing more specific WoW series. Like, I want to do some WoW series where I'm looking through the... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking through the... Um, this, I'm going through the story and I'm actually reading the story and uh, going through World of Warcraft and thinking about the storytelling rather than just playing the game um, and I want to do all this sort of stuff but that's gonna that's to be planned and to come later um, I want to do some comparisons between WoW and Old WoW and New WoW all this sort of stuff but for now I'm just going to be streaming video games mainly vanilla WoW and then a bit of other stuff. I think I'm going to start doing more streaming, more ranked games, streaming more stuff like uh, Overwatch and uh, Rainbow Six Siege and Counter Strike and StarCraft and Dota and League of Legends and Heroes of Storm and all that. Because I play a lot more solo queue nowadays than I used to. Um, way back, I used to play solo queue all the time. But then, you know, you start playing with friends, you enjoy playing with friends more, so you play with friends a lot. Um, but now I've got to a point where a lot of the friends I play with aren't as interested in ranked. So I play more casual and I end up, for the last few seasons of a lot of these games, I haven't, like, played much ranked because I've mainly been playing with people who aren't interested in ranked. So, um, I'm going to do some more videos of that. This outro is going way too long. Way too long. And, um, so, uh. I will see you all next time.